TheMarshallMan.com. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the session. Uh, this session, we're trying to cover the topic uh, China. And uh, China is a subset of the Chinese, uh, Chinese subset of skills in Chinese martial arts. And it's a very unique and distinctive in the sense that it's, if you really master the art, it's uh, very effective in uh, neutralizing the fight you know, without causing a, a injury you know, uh, to, to your partner. And you can take control of the fight. Uh, but the, the conception of China, China is the, the two Chinese words, Qin, that means uh, you lock your hands in position, okay? You capture, you capture the lock, okay? And uh, Na means that I, once I capture the lock, I take hold of its energy, okay? And this will be a little bit complicated to, to discuss, but uh, Qin means to put his uh, structure, body structure, to lock his body in structure, and then you, you extend your energy into their fascia to take control of them, okay? Uh, this, uh, this technique has ev everything to do with the fascia mechanism in the sense that uh, whenever there's a foreign energy that goes into the fascia, and the fascia doesn't know how to, how to cope with this foreign energy, the first response, the fascia will do is to send the signal to the brain, and uh, uh, it's an SOS uh, signal, you know, pen, pen, uh, I, need, I need your attention, okay? By sending the signal, and when the mind doesn't know how to cope with that also, the energy in the fascia will panic, okay? So <clears throat> they inflict their own pain by locking themselves within the tension structure of the fascia. Okay, this is uh, not part of the art, but which is, uh, which is uh, by default, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's more of an energy work. It's not about the application of more force on site at the lock to force people down. Technically, it worked, but that's mechanical. That's, uh, that's uh, brutal, you know? The real internal china is uh, actually very subtle and effective. Okay, so, um, so I'll show you the basics of China and explain to you the ration, rationale behind the applications. Okay, so basically for China, there are two types of uh, great, uh, the basics, there are two types of locks. If you can twist your line, okay, this side, now I feel the tension, I feel the limit. This is the limit. The by themselves, this is the limit whereby they can twist their hands you know, up to this point. Okay, this is a chin, in, I'm in position. So, by here, I'm sending my energy from my fascia to his fascia, and, uh, I, and I keep on uh, twisting, spiraling his line, and, uh, and squeeze my energy into his fascia. This is what happens. Now, his body will begin to respond to me, okay? So, this is a reverse lock. Like this, okay? Okay, to the point, and I release my energy into his fascia, he will fall, okay? Another one is the reverse grip, like this, okay? So in this, I put my hands on this part, twist, okay, I feel the tension. Once I feel the tension, I pull his tension line outside, you know, from this joint lock to space, and then close, bend this uh, structure then this is what happens, okay? So his, his, his fascia doesn't know how to cope with this, so his body will yield themselves to me, and his energy will keep on sending the signal to his brain, say, uh, pen, pen. So the deeper I send in my energy into his fascia, the bigger the pen. But I'm not using force, okay? So basically, there's only this, uh, the frontal lock, okay? And the reverse lock. So don't keep it straight, you have to bend the wrist a little bit. So twist to, to make his line spiral to the limit. Now once I go beyond the limit, I, send, I settle in my energy into his fascia. And this is how he responds, okay? 
So, okay, now this, I, I sense it, okay? This, I sense it, okay? Now we can extend it into applications. You see, so for any touch, I just have become lighter in the contact, release the energy from outside of the contact, slow it to space, turn, drop, okay? Now if I release my hands, you'll see that it's exactly the same lock I'm applying, okay, uh, earlier. So this release, bypass his, his wrist, drop, okay? Possible, okay, understand? Release, bypass his, uh, his uh, wrist, okay? Now if I release my hands, you see it's the same lock, okay? So once you feel this, you see, then it doesn't really matter where he touches you. Release, twist his uh, wrist, switch over to this hand, keep on rotating, he will fall, okay? So this hand, you see, the same thing, okay? Okay, you see? Okay, now here's, a, here's a, something very, uh, some very important techniques. On side of the contact, if it's using force, if I tense up my muscles, I try to make it work, I cannot. He can stop me any moment because I tense up my muscles, all right? And he really, he really got me, okay? But if I release my fascia, and you see, I can turn him, I can, <coughs> I can get away from his grip of basically effortlessly. You see? Okay, grip again. Okay, like this. So that's why it's important to be lighter. Okay. If I, if you have any bit of tension on side of the contact, then there's no escape. Okay. So that's why the importance of relaxation. You see, I disappeared from the contact. I'm not fighting him, and he cannot grip me. So once this capacity is in place, this is why I can make it work like this, okay? Now we extend into applications the same thing, you see? The same reverse lock, okay? Okay, now like this, okay? Or I see finger locks. Okay, reverse, okay, finger lock, okay, <clears throat> finger lock, okay. And once you have the basic thing in place, if you know how to modulate your energy flow from you to the other, so this will become a very useful subset of uh, martial skills uh, in transition or in variation. You know, that's it, from, from application to applications. Okay, keep your hands, you see? Finger lock, okay, yeah. I'm still here, finger lock, okay. So he's, uh, he's uh, yielding to me because of his internal fear. He's afraid that I might in one way or another to break his bones, which is real, but it's not my intention. I'm just taking control of his, his body through tension modulation, you know, in his tension line, okay? And then I can take, take control of his, uh, his body's response. You see, release, bypass, pull open, okay? So it, it all has to do with the intrinsic fear, you know, from inside of his mind body to this application, okay? This is the beauty of now, I take control of his fear. That's it, okay? So once you sense this, you see? For any contact, okay? You can uh, be innovative and uh, you can improvise with your applications with the same principles. See, this is the elbow lock, okay? I lock his elbow, okay, in position, okay? Hands up, you see? This is a shoulder lock, okay? And this is the elbow lock. So it's a combination of the, 
It's a combination of the different control points, okay? <clears throat> and this is uh, the throwing, the spine lock, okay? Okay, the spine lock, okay? Okay, good. You see, the spine, I twist and bypass his spine and his body will have to follow, you know? at my command, okay? You see? There you go. Elbow lock, okay? You see? Elbow lock, there you go. Okay, coming back, shoulder lock, okay? Okay, so this is a preliminary uh, introduction of the G9 applications. Thank you for your attention. TheMarshallMan.com